Hi guys, and welcome back to the card here. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year. I know it's February the 15th or 16th whenever I upload this video, but it's the first YouTube video in about six months. Today, I have a very good reason to get back into creating YouTube content, and it's something you've never seen on the channel before. Now, of course, it was going to involve deck of cards, but I've actually been sent something from another brand who has a Kickstarter campaign right this second called, or well, the brand is called Curious Cast. First of all, Curious Cast, thank you for sending the package. And you guys will have to let me know if you like this kind of content, if you like to see unboxings from other brands, maybe looking at Kickstarter decks, because this has been great to receive, really excited to show you guys what's inside. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a good one today. But before we get into that, I just wanna say a quick thank you to everybody who has supported the card in 1021 so far. And just mark your calendars for March the 12th. Harvin is releasing something we've never done before. It's something that is very popular in the community. And it was supposed to be on February the 12th, which was our second anniversary, but due to uh, packages getting lost in the mail, we had to delay it back another month, sadly. But most here, it's maybe three weeks away, four weeks. So mark your calendars for that. With that being said, let's figure out what is inside this package by Curious Cars. So before we begin, if you just take a look to the left of your screen, this is the Curious Cask Kickstarter page. It's still active. It was only launched maybe a week ago, and it's already generated about $30,000 in funding. But they want to release three decks. I think actually a fourth deck with the Gilded deck. Um, they've got brick boxes. I think they've even got coasters. They've got so much that they want to put into this project. So take a look at the rewards. Take a look at the campaign itself. The branding, the photography, everything about it. It, it just makes you really want the product because they put so much effort into it. And it's fantastic. And you're about to see. You're about to see something from them right now. So without further ado, let's get into this package. Package. I've taken it out of the box already. I was too excited. I had to actually see it before I filmed it. And straight away, nice little note here uh, with my name on it in very fancy writing. The greetings. And on the back, curious cask. Fine stories boldly told. So this is a note from Grayson and Brian. They've put in just a little bit of details about uh, the brand. Thank you for your interest and encouragement in our latest project. Our desire is to not only design quality products, but also to weave stories into everything we do. Cards have so many meanings and opportunities for us to blend the world of a whiskey into decks. This creates an opportunity for people to explore regions, styles, and tastes of whiskey. Enjoy and looking forward to move to more opportunities. Regards, Grayson and Brian. My granddad actually loves whiskey, so I'm actually gonna have to show him these decks. I don't drink myself. But, so yeah, thank you so much to Grayson and Brian. I'm really excited to get this open. So, straight away, we have some very interesting packaging here. I've actually opened it already, which is why this is loose. Um, this is just part of the packaging, though. So they've got their own unboxing experience, which is fantastic. You guys know the Cardin is all about unboxing experiences. And I really like what's inside here. Let's show you guys what's inside. Here we go. How about this? Really nice tissue wrapped and a, and, a, and, a wa and a stamp, almost like you'd see on a deck of cards. Curious Cask logo, chapter one, presented by Curious Cask. If the inside is a little box set and we've got tissue wrapped paper. And you know what I really like? I really like this sort of uh, middle part and the, and, and, and the stamp has gone just on here. It looks really, really good and just remove it like this so it's really nice packaging if you ever wanted to keep if you if you like your wrapping and you like to save a memorabilia this is here to keep and here we have it we have the box set look at this yellow look at this yellow color nice and vibrant and the contrasting black even got their logo here on the back just looks fantastic now this looks like one of those magnetic um storage boxes uh, or display cases and yes this is Really, really high quality stuff. And this is, I'm, I'm sure this is something you can get on the Kickstarter campaign. Take a look and see what is inside. Yes, refined stories, boldly told. We are Curious Cask. We tell stories through unexpected mediums. Welcome to chapter one, Whiskey. May it be an enjoyable experience for you and those you inspire. Really nice. And here we have it two decks of cards we have on the rocks and here which i believe is a limited edition gilded deck this is the barrel and this is a little it's actually a really cool feature here. Like if you just lift if you just lift this the, the little piece of string here wow here we go 
and the, and the deck the deck is out. Sounds like a really small thing, but it's actually really clever. Here's a close-up shot. Got the seal here, chapter one. Explore whiskey by traveling the four regions. Uh, if you want to learn a bit more in depth about the story, check out the campaign because they, they talk all about this sort of brand story and what these decks stand for in their campaign. Pretty cool Ace of Spades. You can see their logo in it and a, a glass of whiskey as well. Best enjoyed with a choice dram. Best shared with friends and rivals. Created for whiskey connoisseurs, sleight of hand artists and card players. And interestingly, manufactured in PRC by Legends Playing Card Company. Now, I don't think I've ever had a deck or felt a deck by Legends. So this is gonna be an interesting experience for me to open. So here we go. Very rarely do I get that tear strip right. Here we go, out of the cellophane. Ah, I think it's even got a perforated seal. Wow, I'm not even joking. That was literally the easiest. That was, that, that was honestly the easiest I've ever opened a seal. And look at that, that is actually perfect completely perforated that is incredible honestly i mean i know it's only a little it's sort of a little detail but that was honestly the easiest seal to open and look perfectly intact so if you're a collector i mean that's probably quite a big big deal for you wow so even on the insides even on the insides we have this repeated pattern and again so curious cask they, they obviously whoever works there they obviously know how to brand their products and not just not just in a, any old way, but to do it in a really uh, s stylish way. Props to you guys. Here we go, this is it. Here is our back design. Show you guys a close up of that back design. Give you a quick fan. So first impressions, these feel, these feel really good. Never used Legends before. I'd say they probably feel more like USPCC than Carta Mundi. Um, I don't know what other people think, but for me, they don't feel um, too much different um, than a USPCC deck, and I think that's a compliment uh, to how these cards feel. It's a quick skim through to see the style of um, the face cards, like their fonts and the shapes of um, the pips. But let's get into the cards themselves. It comes with an ad card, perhaps what you might even call it a brand card. Um, an opportune gathering of four courts results in tales of power, betrayal, love, and vengeance. Blending together whiskey and playing cards through legends that span time and location, enjoy a deck of crisp and sophisticated playing cards that pairs with any bottle of whiskey. And to be honest, I could just picture myself using these at a card game because minimal on the back design, and as you will see, the court cards and the number cards are just really cool. And as you can tell from the experience start to finish, it's just a really cool collector's item. And it's like a deck of cards. It's a collector's item, but it's also a deck of cards you'd like to use. And as you'll see um, with the customizations in this deck, it's a deck of cards you want to show off to people as well. So here is our Joker. There's actually a Joker at the at sort of the bottom, and there's also a, a Joker at the top as well. Here's our Ace of Clubs. Scottish Highland Whiskey. Really nice, clean design. Let's look, look at the other cards. So this is how our clubs are sort of shaping up. And here's where it gets even more interesting. The court cards are completely customized from the design of the, of the courts themselves to, you could say, the border that goes around the courts. Um, obviously paying homage to the branding with the whiskey. Um, and as you can see, you've even got the Curious Cask logo coming in. So a uh, really good job on these. You're gonna see how more interesting they get as we go along the deck. There's our Jack, the Queen of Clubs. And it's almost as if um, the courts are tasting the whiskey and um, giving their impressions. As we can see, mellow notes, frugal, earthy, and slightly medicinal. And this is our king of clubs. That's a really cool touch. Um, there must be somebody at Legends who is a huge fan of whiskey because I'm not a drinker myself, but there's probably some people who love whiskey who can relate to this deck of cards, probably relate to what the courts are saying as well. Here's our diamonds. So this, as you can see, these cards, you can use these cards for magic, you could use them for cardistry, you could use them for uh, card games as well. They're pretty much universal in that sense, with an emphasis on refinement and texture. That's our Jack of Diamonds. Here is our Queen of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. King of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. 
Jack of Hearts. And this is what the rest of the hearts look like. A really nice, nice and familiar, but with their own sort of take and design and how the hearts are designed, the colour, the fonts. And I really like that all the all the aces are sort of being made main aces. They're, they're all enlarged, they all have lots of detail. It's not just a small, minimal ace. Um, and it's really nice and refreshing to see that with a deck of cards, that so much effort is put into all the cards. Um, not just little customizations, but it's quite a brave approach, bold approach, I might say, to have a fully customized deck. But Curious Castle have done a great job on this. Um, the artwork is just fantastic. King of Spades. Queen of Spades. Jack of Spades. And here are the rest of the Spades. And finishing with the main ace, the Ace of Spades, North American Can Canadian Blended Whiskey. And it's the same ace you'll find on the tuck case with the Curious Cask logo throughout it. So, so on the whole, this is a fantastic deck. I highly recommend this to anybody who enjoys whiskey, enjoys a minimal back design with uh, some customizations as well. This is On The Rocks. This is the On The Rocks edition, as you can see on the tuck case. Um, but that's not it guys, because we actually have one more deck to look at and it's called In The Barrel. Okay, so time to look at deck number two. Let's pull this. I really like that. We got that aspect. So this is the barrel edition and I believe it is limited edition and it might be the gilded edition. So out of the cellophane, you can see this up close, the details on the tuck. Got some really cool details there. Uh, and on the back, on the back of the tuck, it was like metallic, some metallic backs. This of course being the back design too. Right, and here we go, here's the opening. Let's see if this seal opens easier than the first. Not quite as easy as the first. Is that perforated as well? Maybe it was. Maybe I just maybe I just opened it bad. Um, either way, here we go. Oh yes, it is. And you know what? Actually, this this is actually the first gilded deck I've ever opened out of the cellophane. Here we go. First gilded deck I've ever opened. As you can see, you've got that metallic back on this brown barrel edition. Here's the guild. Here is the gilding at the sides. I show you guys up front, up close. Really nice gilded edges. So cards themselves, uh, I think it looks as though they're pretty much the same as before. Um, yep, I think they're exactly exactly the same as before, but no need to change something that was already working so good in the first place. Um, like I said, these court cards, the number cards. Um, especially the aces as well, that's just gone flying. They're all fantastic. Um, um, and overall, um, this is a really, really good deck. And uh, it's just a fantastic box set as well. Like back to the deck, back to the case itself. Um, everything about this deck from start to finish. Um, the tuck cases as well. I just want to give a bit of a shout out to the tuck case as well because these have some really good designs. They've also been fought through really, really well. I mean, look at that. I mean, even you can't see it too well, but even on the inside of the tuck case, it has its own details and everything. So, comes with a gilded deck. This set, we've got the on the rocks yellow edition. There is also a water edition in blue. There is also a red edition. Go check these guys out on Kickstarter. Their campaign is fantastic, and it's still running. Just as the last thing of this gilded deck, we want to show the Pharaoh shuffle. These gilded edges. This gilded deck coming together. Pretty satisfying. So thank you to Curious Cask once again for sending us this box set. Really good job guys and congratulations on funding your Kickstarter already. There is a link in the description where you can visit their Kickstarter page. They've got this and they've got other decks, got brick boxes. There's so much to the campaign. So if you're interested, check it out below. If there's anybody watching this video and you have a deck that you'd like to see shown on the channel, maybe you've got a Kickstarter, maybe you just want to get more awareness to your deck, feel free to leave a comment below, contact us 
at the card in on instagram or you can email the card in at gmail.com let me know if you like this type of content guys uh, i enjoyed doing it and if we get more opportunities in the future to do this kind of content i'm happy to do it if you guys like the content as well keep a look out for our next video i'm going to be going through all the card ins new stock and showing you guys some really cool decks we just got in. So thanks for watching guys. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos. And until the next time, I'll catch you guys later on.